We are heading to the kitchen of my dear friend who's going to teach us an Indian cornmeal recipe that she learned from her mom. My name is Chidi Kumar. I am the chef and co-owner of Garland in downtown Raleigh. We are a locally sourced Indo-Pan-Asian restaurant. I'm fascinated by the way ingredients have made it from one part of the world to the other, um, just like my family. <laughs> I have played music for a big part of my life, so I'm a guitar player in our band, uh, Birds of Avalon. I think that playing in a band for all those years and sort of being self-managed helped so much with all the aspects of what we do now. Hello, my friend. How are you today? It's nice to see you. I brought you a present. This is some fresh ground cornmeal. I know oh you God. love cornmeal the way that I do. I do. And you have promised you're going to teach me a recipe that you have been eating your whole life. Do I have that right? Variations of it, but yeah. Okay, so what do we? what's it called? Uh, it's upma, and mm -hmm. upma is sort of like the word for porridge in India. This recipe is kind of very typical Indian in that we start with aromatics and we kind of have something gentle and not super flavorful. Mm -hmm. And then we finish it with a bunch of spices or aromatics and it adds this top layer. And the bottom layer and the top layer kind of interact together. And that's why Indian food can be, uh, can seem so complex, but it's really very simple. All right, you got to get me started on this. All right, so I really love coconut oil. That's just some onion. Oh, I can smell the coconut. It's lovely. It's so nice, and it adds this really lovely kind of savory sweetness to cornmeal, and I think cornmeal is kind of sweet and savory. And this is a little chopped green cayenne pepper. You can use as much or little as you like. And this is just some freshly cracked Tella cherry pepper. And I'm gonna add about a cup and a half of really nice coconut milk. With this coconut milk, I'm just gonna add a whole lot of water. This is about five cups. I'm going to make sure that this is seasoned properly. There's nothing worse than bland cornmeal, right? And it loves salt. It really does. And you know, you kind of want to make this a little bit saltier mm -hmm. than you think it should be. And we're just going to bring this to a gentle boil. So now just kind of drizzle this in. This is about a cup. This doesn't look like enough cornmeal for the amount of liquid, but trust me, it is. Somebody used to know says, it will release its starch. And then they'll say, and then the starch will begin to hold. I thought that was archaic, oh, but it's such a good image. It is. So while this is simmering, I'm gonna make like a little veggie topping. So these are toppings of opportunity. It's either exactly. what you got at the farmer's market or what you have. This is ghee. You can use mm -hmm. olive oil, you can use butter, some finely chopped ginger some coriander, and I'm gonna throw the shiitakes in there. And one thing with mushrooms that I've discovered lately is not salting them. I really want them to retain their flavor, mm -hmm. so I'm toasting them, and I want the water to evaporate slowly and concentrate the mushroom flavor exactly. in here. And throw in these sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. too. They're already cooked, so I'm really just looking for a little bit more car caramelization. Once the mushrooms are all the way brown, then you can start salting, because the water's already gone away. And now we're gonna do um, sort of the finishing layer, which is such an important part of Indian cooking. This part is called tharka or chonk. So we started with onions and a little chili. We're gonna put another layer of those very things along with some, some more friends. And this is urad dal, it's a lentil. And I'm gonna use it as a textural element. And so you just kind of toast it. And as soon as it starts to sizzle, I'm gonna zip in some curry leaves and they'll pop. And I'm gonna put more chilies in here. Okay. And again, you can skip that if you don't want any more heat. And you know, you could just stop here, but we're not going to because we're fancy. So fancy. So, so we're gonna season, of course. Mm -hmm. And this is ginger garlic paste. So this is gonna go pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. We're just sweating all of this stuff. I'm gonna add a little pinch of chili powder. A great color. Isn't on it that. beautiful? I'm gonna kind of deglaze all of this with a little bit more, um, tiny bit more coconut milk mm -hmm. and a little cream. I like cornmeal with a little pinch of sugar. Mm -hmm. So we put all of our bloomed aromatics mm -hmm. in here. We have our 
shiitakes with the sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. and why not? I'm going to add a little bit more coconut milk. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add a tiny bit of chicken stock. Okay. That I'm just going to almost just steam um, the greens, just start to soften. And you could definitely just dump all of this right in there, and you know, I guess that would be more of like a southern style. <laughs> it's probably more like somebody that can't find a second piece of Tupperware with a lid. I mean, <laughs> story of our life, <laughs> <Exactly>. right? <laughs> so I am going to finish this with a little bit of lime juice. One of my favorite and things. And why not throw some in here too? Exactly. Because everything benefits from a little bit of acid. And I think that's something else too, that sometimes when we taste a food that is flat, and this certainly isn't, but if we did, you check salt first, mm -hmm. but if you know there's enough salt, but there's still that little something missing, it's acid. It is. Most often you can fix something at the end exactly. with acid. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then that goes and on then top this, of yeah. color, and that hit of flavor. And a little texture, and don't forget the peanuts. I like, yeah, crunch, a little more salt, yep. one more texture. There you go, my friend. Amazing. Let's have Let's some. Let's try some. That's insanely good. Because what you're doing here is you're giving me, there's nothing in here I've not had before, but I've never had it like this. Right. But you could have. And I'm gonna. <laughs> We're gonna have to do this again. Like, often. Tell me when, I'll be here. You bet. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That is good. You guys want some? <laughs>